Hi, and welcome to ZappySys 101. Today we'll review how to interact with Amazon Storage inside SSIS using the ZappySys Amazon Storage task. In a few clicks, you will learn how to upload, download, and delete files stored in Amazon Storage. Prior to starting this demo, please make sure you have created an Amazon Storage account and have a copy of the access and secret keys. Also, create a folder where you want to save your data. From Visual Studio, go to File, New Project. Under Templates, Business Intelligence, select Integration Services Project. I will call mine Amazon Storage Demo. Click OK to create the project. On the left side, you should see the SSIS Toolbox. If you don't see the SSIS Toolbox, right-click in the blank space and select SSIS Toolbox. You should see a set of tasks that start with ZS. These are the Zappy Sys tasks. Drag and drop the ZS Amazon Storage task onto the Control Flow tab. Double-click the task to edit its properties. The first option is the storage action. We support an extensive list of actions for Amazon Storage, from simply uploading or downloading files to creating and managing your buckets. From here, we will select Upload File to Amazon. Next, we'll specify the path of the files we wish to upload. I'm going to erase the default value and browse to the files I want to upload. I'll select just the first file, but in reality I want all the files in this folder that end in CSV. I can achieve this by replacing the file name with a star or asterisk character. Next, we'll specify our connection to the storage account. I'll paste in my access key then secret key, then click test connection. Great, our connection was successful. Next, we will select the path where we want our files to go. Erase the default value and click the ellipsis to browse your storage account directory. I'll navigate to the bucket called bw-rs test. I'll select the folder called stage and click OK. We also have three overwrite options. In this case, I will choose always overwrite so that only the new files will be stored in the account. In the security section, we can choose different file level permissions. For example, we can make these files private, public read write, or public read only. In this case, we will leave the default permission level. We can also specify some metadata around the files, making it easier to discover the files in the future. We also have the ability to specify the content type of these files, We'll leave these options with their default settings, but we could specify that the files are of type CSV. Click OK and then save the project. Now we can execute the task. Navigate to the Progress tab and we see that six items were successfully transferred. All six files with the extension CSV were uploaded. If we go back into the ZappySys Amazon Storage task and hit the Browse button next to the Targets path, we see that the bucket now contains the six CSV files we wanted to upload. This has been an overview of how to interact with Amazon Storage using the ZappySys Amazon Storage task. For more videos like this, subscribe to the ZappySys YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.